Hello, my name is Trish Regisus and this is Stardew Valley. We are on day 22 of summer of our first year. Mm, things are going quite well, apart from a small cock up yesterday where we gave the dwarf a present, even though it wasn't his birthday. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can give presents to people anytime you want. Um, but we were only planning to give him one on his birthday. Looks like a storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. Mm. Spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. We've got a living off the land. Most towns have a seasonal calendar in front of their general store. It's a good idea to check on that now and then to get a feel for what's going on in the community. Make sure to check for any job postings as well. So it's just information about the... So here we go. Here's a blueberry day. Day of bloops. So what I can do is show you the comparison. So hopefully we'll end up with one of each. Okay, so pop them there. And what I want to show you is the various pricings. So we'll just do that for the time being. Put them in there. Show you what each is worth, uh, remembering that we have that 10% bonus for uh, what's the bonus for? Okay, I can get around that way, cool. Confuse myself then. So I think we have uh, each of the mushrooms, don't we? So we might as well just check. Did we? Yeah, I did say hello to it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, now I've got five of them. I want to do ten of them. So I think they're using multiple recipes. So Where the hell have we got a radish from? That must have been one of the rando seeds. I am rather concerned our coffee bean. I think I've wasted that because that's still not and it doesn't look like it's going to harvest anytime soon. I suspect I've therefore made an error there. Okay what I want to do is pop that in there. Uh, might as well keep that radish I guess. Uh, everything else are things we want to sell. Part, obviously Oh no, I didn't. Took it out. Got it out. Got it with me. Didn't bloody water the plant. That's a long car. Right, so we want to sell that, 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 that. What I'm just going to do now is check the community centre because uh, we might as well do that because we're going to swing by Clint's, the blacksmith's in order to get our um, hoe, no, our axe. So I, I might as well walk past that way anyway. Now, so we could, we could have done the wood, but not got that much wood kicking about. So I'm going to actually swing down the bottom, see if we can't do a bit of foraging. I'll also clear this out of the way. Some stuff grow, which we can't really clear because we haven't got our axe, of course. I can hit the, hit the thingies. I think once we've got the steel axe, we can take out that, that um, log up there. I think. I don't think it needs a gold axe. Okay, 
proper look down here. There's a spice berry, might as well grab that. Oh, I need to get around, don't I? You obviously only get spring onions in the spring. Spring, one of the best seasons for foraging, generally. Because uh, you also get the salmon berries, you get um, blackberries. I've mentioned this before. In, uh, there's a wiggly worm, but. just do is go and see if Willy uh, has iridium level rods. We have a gang falling out. So he buys all of them, you see. We do, we can buy an iridium level rod, which we will do, I think. You wouldn't buy rods though, which is annoying. Cool. Didn't we discover we can throw rods away then? Cool, so an iridium level rod, it allows you to put on both bait and uh, a lure. Hey Fogo, you've got a nice tan going. The more I practice this summer, the easier it will be for me to go pro. Oops, no. Then you'd be able to say you know me, knew me once. Cool, huh? It's a bit egotistical, uh, Alex. Quite where he plays football, I don't know. Oh no! Okay. What have I done wrong there? Because I, I gave it to him on the 20th, didn't I? Okay, I've clearly done something really rather wrong there. Because he, he won't process geodes for us. Anyway, we can go over to the mine. And it is the 22nd now, so we can definitely give the dwarf a proper present on his birthday. Ah, Lord Rish. It's not giving us any hearts, though. So I don't, I don't know if that counts or not, really. So that was all a bit annoying. I'm sure it's the 20th, unless maybe, unless Sunday doesn't count as a working day or something, maybe? Maybe. Uh, I think we'll try and get down uh, in the, get, you know, get further down. So 
see how we can now break a big rock just with three whacks. Three whacks are the uh, thing. Might as well go down because there's not much for me to collect. And we've already got a ladder on the gun. They gave me the stink eye. Finding mushroom levels in this this playthrough. So, did I, and there, wasn't there a bit over here? Was there, oh, it has got mushrooms on it as well. That's bloody bats. Oh, and that's a ladding. I've also got rather a full inventory. I could always eat that spice berry. Anything else out of all that I can see? Okay, so next level should be the lift. the ones you spawn as well that spawn. Come on then. Okay now. There you go. You can get in a sort of an infinite recursive loop, technically. Where if it keeps spawning bats at you then uh, you wouldn't have I don't suppose we've got any things that As I was saying, I might have to stop this, well, not stop the recording, but stop recording episodes. I'm uh, starting to make even less sense than I normally do. Ok, 
clearly the I've cocked up the timing with the old axe. Fifty gold. Already. Need to be a little careful of health now. I could eat. Feeling this is a. Oh no, it's not. A, it's a ten. When it's ten twenty. Cutting it really fine. I can't see any. Oh wow, that's got stuff on it. Um. Bugger. Because we're not not doing too well for health still. Really. I'm just going to go. Let's just go. Cut our losses. 120 is the bottom. So, yeah, we did five levels. We got, got a five level thing. So it's not too bad, is it? Okay, so we need to get over to the fishing spot. I can stick these straight in. I don't think I've... Should I bother with? I'll put the ring in there so I can sell that. How many slots does it give? There's four slots. Mm. Oh, there is five, so five slots. So, could just do the. The trash spectacles. Okay. So what I want to do, so these are all the items keeping that sell. Keep sell sell. Keep 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 sell keep keep. Uh, sell. So all of those I am selling, all of them I am keeping. I'll put the geodes together because they go in the bottom chest. Put those together. So they're in there. They're just speeding up. Oh, there's a weekly worm as well. Spitting out the process back at the farm, really. So, 
because we've now got this, it's a lot quicker to, oh, and there was a sweepy as well. And, uh, too late to go back for that. So, all of these batteries are processed. Uh, we should pick them up, really, because... Because the storm is due tomorrow, isn't it? We've got storm on the way. Yeah. So, I'm going to save up. No, I want to put. Oh, what I put in here? Anything? I don't think there is, is it? Oh, the geodes. Got all of this stuff in here. Seedy things in there. No, wrong one. Okay, and we are done. Oh, no, I thought we might level up there. I don't suppose that makes sense because we not we leveled up not too long ago. Lots from foraging. What I wanted to show you, didn't I, was the whole blueberry thing. So a basic blueberry worth 55. So not a lot, but as we noted before, you get more than three times as many blueberries on average um, from one as you do have plants. So no, it's something like yeah, it's, it's around three. So actually you're getting you know uh, what's that 165 as a baseline uh, per plant if you uh, if they're of silver quality it boosts it by a little bit gold quality a little bit more uh, there's iridium as well i believe they have iridium for everything i think it's iridium um and that's sort of 120 i think something like that it might be 110 it might be double it in value but then jelly you see is 150 so it's higher than all of the individual ones and you can convert every single blueberry you grow into a jelly there's nothing stopping you doing that obviously it takes some time you know they, they take whatever it was six days or whatever it is to cook but you get uh, a lot for them the foraging is the best thing again because we had all these mushrooms in the mushroom level i've never encountered that so many i've had that a lot in this playthrough uh, I've never had that before. Uh, we've picked up quite a lot of emerald, uh, gems, um, so we've made quite a lot there. So we're on four, four, four and a half grand again. So what we need to consider doing fairly, uh, fairly soon is getting some of our upgrades going because we're making bank. Uh, we can basically survive with steel tools, well, for the rest of the year really. Um, it was a sunny day tomorrow, okay. Uh, fortune teller. Good humour, okay. Mm -hmm. So we've got up, oh, there you go, uh, the old. Um, well, maybe that'll finish. Maybe. It's got five days left. The thing with a coffee is like. A sort of amped up version of like blueberries and cranberries and stuff in that uh, it does it takes a while to grow but once it's grown it it it, it harvest you can harvest it every two days and it gives like I can't remember what the numbers are but it's it's sort of three to seven or something beans which I mean it's an enormous amount basically um, now it does take five individual coffee to individual beans to make a cup of coffee um, but I didn't need I didn't need it after all because it's I need a corn though corn gold gold corn uh, that's good we should also put the melon in there so that I don't do anything stupid gold corn gold melon uh, gold corn and gold melon now today we can definitely pick up the that we can definitely pick up our 
that axe. What are we then going to do? The thing I'm really lacking in terms of wanting to upgrade stuff is wood. No, I'm looking in the wrong chest, aren't I? I should, I should have done these the other way around, really. So the thing I'm really lacking in terms of upgrading is wood. I've got, I've got lots of stone. I've got some hardwood. So what we could do is... Yeah, I think what we will do... Yeah, we're going to go and... get our axe and then we'll do a go around on the farm tidying up essentially and we'll uh, use salmon berries and field snacks uh, to give ourselves energy so what I want to just do is sweep up here see if we've got any forageables while Clint's still closed yep any forage yours. Because the other thing I ideally wanted to do is... Oh, not open yet. Looking for an amethyst. Marnie. Oh, that's Marnie again. Excellent. Uh, so it's 23rd, yeah. So it's Willie's birthday tomorrow. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. There's a sweet pea there. Kind of lovely penny. It's uh, uh, she was my first in my first playthrough. That's who I married. Second playthrough was Abigail. My other playthroughs, I didn't. Well, I haven't actually really got that far. Um, by playthroughs, I mean, because there's an event at the end of year two that um, essentially decides how well you've done in the game. So, for those two playthroughs that I went through, that's why I count as being a, a proper playthrough, um, having got to that point. But it's you know you can just keep going in there. There's no there's no stop point really. You know, steel axe. See to steel axe. Um, let us process some geodes. Hmm. We've had sandstone, I think, haven't we? I think all of these are. Oh no, that's a gunther. Oh, that's a gunther as well. Okay. That's cool. Okay. So we can. Connect a museum. More stuff. Okay. So these are all saleable. I don't think I did, did I? Because we can't get into the monsters. I want to go up to the, you know, the fishing spot. Did I look on here? Yes, I did, didn't I? Because there was nothing. Then there's nothing on here. It's annoying. Um, I could do. So we now got the axe, big axe, and all of that stuff. So we can clear things out. Much easier. So I want to do that on the farm, but we could just swing by, do the, the quick look. Oh, we need to get that was it. We need to get Marley and Amethyst. That's what I'm forgetting. That wiggly worm's still over there. We've 
clank, yeah, fine. Need to get am amethyst from Marnie. Worth a quick look behind there. So grab this am amethyst for Marnie. We'll then go and see if we can chop. Actually, we can test it on this log here first. Yeah, we can. These give you hardwood. Um, yeah, so we need to grab an amethyst. And put away these. We will grab, in preparation, we will grab oops, all of these. So we've got them. We'll go and put them in the bin. I need to keep that on me to try to remind me. And that as well. And that as well. So that I don't forget. So, let's give Marnie the amethyst. I mentioned before, in fact, I think it was one of the first things I did mention, the, the rain sound and the uh, sort of sea sounds. What? Giggle! You see she's got, got a slightly higher relationship, so she actually says something to us now. Very shy. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. He helps me out with the chickens, so I'm not complaining. Oh, we need to give you an amethyst, don't we? Hello, Dresmagicious. Is that the amethyst I requested? It looks perfect. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. Okay. 300. Um, so how's our relationship doing with Marley? She's not had a, I think her birthday's in autumn. So we're already at one star, so that's good. We can't get into a bedroom. To get, get the shorts. What we're going to do, we're going to head over to the, what I call the secret garden. It's not, it's, it's got a proper, proper, better name than that. Chop this log so we can get in. And this is the secret garden. From memory, it always plays this song when you're in here. Um, and it plays that song else at other, oops, at other times. The slimes it spawns are dependent on the season, I think. You also get mushrooms in here and fiddlehead ferns. Fiddlehead ferns are a drop off at the. I've only got one fiddlehead fern, that's a bit rubbish. At the community centre. Just want to show you this. Old Master Canaloni, Canoli. Still searching for the sweetest taste. Um, so we'll reveal what the sweetest taste is at some point. The types of slimes it spawns um, are season dependent. Uh, so, you know, that the type of slime determines the toughness, that's all the wood. But you see, we've got, well, we got 28 because we had 8 from this and 8 from the other one um, rather than that. But you get a small amount of. small amount of small amount of hardwood out of that and that means so we need to put these on our top row so I can track how we're doing and that's a cell one Ideally, don't, don't really need the hoe. 
Okay, so that fiddlehead van is a turn in at the community centre. So the area I want to develop really is sort of getting into this part of it. I also get hardwood out of these, I think. So you get quite a yeah, too hardwood. You get quite a, a good sort of dump of hardwood initially. Passing through Stardew Valley. With that train thing, I, I mean, I showed you it on the previous episode. I personally feel it's a real waste of time. Um, I mean, it could have been quite good if it dropped, I don't know, really rare items or something, but the things it drops tend to be um, like wood and ore and. Oh, did you see that? That uh, a lightning strike hit that um, piece of fence post. Piece of you know piece of fence. So it caused it to jump, you know, to uh, dislodge basically. So it's five o'clock. So I'm mostly interested in clearing out some of that. But I wanted to just sort of push this back generally. What we need to do when we before we do animals really is get some um, silos. This is quite a good place to put silos because they're sort of out of the way then. Uh, and what you do the when you chop grass with the uh, uh, side. And you've got a silo. It uh, it can. It's not a guarantee that it produces like you know a certain proportion of them turn into hay. Basically. If you don't do that, then you have to buy. I'll correct myself in a moment. You have to, well you, you you can buy hay from Marnie. Now the correction. Is that now? I thought I had some field snacks already. Uh, it's Six thirty. I don't. We're not, I'm not sure we'll need to. Anyway, the, uh, basically, you can buy hay off of Marnie and, and feed, and it's extortionate. I mean, it's, she sells it uh, for an absolute fortune. Um, and you, you, you can easily sort of drive yourself bankrupt. But one of the things is, you don't actually need to feed the, the animals. If you don't feed them. Then they lose happiness. So, you know, as you would kind of expect. Um, eh, what do I want? I don't really want to do some iron, actually. Um, yeah, if you don't feed them, they lose mm -hmm. happiness. But they don't die or anything, they don't starve to death or anything like that. So, what I want to do is sell. Those two. Don't I? Yeah. Uh, what I could also do is attach the spinner to my rod. Yeah. Got some trash in there. Sell this to the chaps here and collect my reward. Collect my reward, which is just a skeleton musk. So that is basically a hat, but it covers your face. I don't think we can do anything with that. I don't think we can sell it to anybody. I wonder if the hat mouse buys skeleton buy the head of skeleton hat. farm and continue our clearance work. Particularly focusing on trees. I must remember that. It's trees I really need. Can 
I sell it? No, I can't sell it, you see. So there's basically another one of these junk items. There are ways of getting rid of them. I'll just whack it in there. So, as I say, I want to make trying to push these back, but what I'm really after is wood. See, so that was only six swings to knock it down. Now that it's um, a steel axe, rather than a ten before. If you look, think about it, you can actually now clear the entire tree, including the stump, with fewer hits than it took us uh, to do just the tree itself uh, before. Am I going to make a field snack and eat that, or just eat some salmon berries? See, that gives 45 energy, and they're only 25. We are getting a little bit low, but we're going to have loads left by the time the uh, blackberry season starts in autumn. How many one? Uh, a couple more. No, so I won't. Put that one. Um, and I think we'll probably run out of time now before we run out of energy. I think that'll do. We've, we've got 250 wood there. Um, oh, we've got 48 hardwood as well. I remember when I sort of on my first playthrough, um, I came to make or do whatever it is we needed to do. See, I've got no iron whatsoever. We need to get on. Get on that. Okay. Yeah, I and I uh, came to start making things with hardwood, and I was like, "Oh, I've got like 200 hardwood or something ridiculous." Um, and it was because I cleared all the things in the in the on the farm, the the large you know the large stumps, and they don't respawn. The things that respawn are like the grass and the, the bits of um, stone and, and the random bits of wood and the full trees, but the the stumps don't respawn. So I then had completely run out of hardwood, and I was like, well, "How the hell do I get hardwood?" And I had to look it up. You, that secret area is basically the only place you can get hardwood, other than sort of random drops of, of hardwood in the in the um, in the mines. So yeah, it's both bearing in mind. That's where you get them from. Uh, the other thing we can do, just before we go to bed, is we had a bunch of these, didn't we? And I already showed you the uh, 300 or something. Um, the thing, so I can get rid of them. Make a little bit of coin on that. Um, the other thing we need to do, and this is going to require me to look it up, because it is Willie's birthday tomorrow. Um, which will be the next episode, but I need to see, because Willie's obviously in his shop, so he's easy to find, but I'm not at all sure what I've got that I can give to him, because well, the thing he likes, as you might imagine, is fish, but I've been selling all my fish, so according to my little cheat sheet, he likes, loves diamonds, oh, I've got on the like list. Mm, mostly recipes. 
and fish. Here's an interesting one, um, Willie's. It's sort of the most developed list of likes. I also like gold bars. So I could give him uh, a, a diamond. I've only got one diamond or a gold bar. So I've got weirdly loads of gold bars. Yeah, we'll give Willie a gold bar. I'm going to need my thing. really turn them in. Okay. We might as well head to bed then. Let's see what, what we got. Shouldn't be. Ah, foraging leveled up. That's from chopping all those trees. Gardening recipe, wild seeds, warp totem. The warp totems let you literally warp to locations. They're quite tricky to craft though. You need quite weird sets of ingredients. So you know, it's sort of a swings and roundabouts with them a bit, really. They literally, you know, say you literally can fast travel, but you've got the minecarts uh, already, or we have. Um, so yeah, you see the blueberries, you see. It's it's a real, real good source. Of, and we got 300 of those. You remember, they're 55 each. So if I literally just sold them all tomorrow, what would that would be? That would be 15 grand. Is that right? So they're five, three, uh, 55 each. No. Yeah. And we got 300. Three fives would be 1,500, so 15 grand. And more than, because we got, you know, you get 55 each, so what, more like 16 and a half grand. So we've always got that cash spare kicking about, but if we can convert a good chunk of them into um, jelly, then we'll get a good, good constant income of cash to help us do what we need to do because we really need to start upgrading our farm and uh, buying things like silos buying the coop and things like that it's part of the reason why we've got so much money uh, is because we've not been buying coops and stuff like that but as you can see we've not really cleared out um, much of the farm so that's going to be a, a job we need to do I'm think I'm wondering, thinking whether we leave animals till next year. Um, mm, I might just get some chickens or something like that, chickens and ducks maybe. Anyway, um, so yeah, we've got that from farming. Foraging was just those little bits and pieces, a bit from those crab pots. So there we go. So I'm going to call that an episode there. If you've been watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and you might consider coming back for another one. I've been Trismegistus. This has been Stardew Valley. Thanks for watching. Cheers.